finally watched the first Studio Ghibli CG movie. As someone who loves Studio Ghibli, I was really excited when I finally started watching Erwig and the Witch. Just from the first scene, I can only think about, is this Lupin the Third? I watched this with no expectations and what I got was a short CG film that would have worked in a TV series format, but it was entertaining nonetheless. If you compare this to the many Studio Ghibli films, Erwig and the Witch is hard to compare with other Studio Ghibli films, not because it's CG, but Erwig and the Witch felt really short for a film with a running time of 1 hour and 20 minutes, yet I felt like I only watched 40 minutes of it. This isn't even Studio Ghibli's very first CG because Ronja, The Robber's Daughter, which is a CG TV series and it was decent. You can even say that the format of Studio Ghibli remains there even though it's CG, but Erwig and the Witch is just different and we will get to that later. First, the story. An orphan named Ayatsuru or Aya, who is this leader type kid, gets adopted by Bela Yaga and Mandrake who is just the best character, and Aya needs to step up her game to being a leader once again, but this time to her new family. I didn't really make the plot here detailed and complete because I don't want to spoil it. It's a very straightforward plot and it's just something Studio Ghibli can handle. Now let's get to the animation. Everyone suddenly becomes a critic and gives hate to Studio Ghibli's very first CG movie. I can understand why because Studio Ghibli is strong with its amazing hand-drawn animation and its memorable stories. Well, as someone who has already watched Erwig and the Witch, and I watched this two times because in my first time watching, I wasn't really satisfied with it. I keep looking at the expressions of the characters and it sends shivers down my spine. I was busy looking at the animation only and not focusing on the other elements. In my second time watching, I was entertained. I put myself in the shoes of someone who hasn't watched a single Ghibli film or as someone who has watched a few Studio Ghibli films. This was really hard to do because I am a huge fan of Studio Ghibli. Ponyo is my favorite by the way. People are hating on Erwig and the Witch because it's CG. When people hear CG, they immediately just hate on it without giving it a chance. Remember, this was Studio Ghibli's return and it's a CG film. Studio Ghibli fans expected another hand-drawn animation, which is what I also expected, but a CG film was just out of the format. This is the return of Studio Ghibli and we should be happy. Let it be hand-drawn or CG. Studio Ghibli is back and we can hope for more animations. Even though it is CG, the animation has its ups and downs. But hear me out. Since this was Studio Ghibli's very first CG, I keep saying this is Studio Ghibli's first CG because it's in the film format while Ronja, the robber's daughter, is in the TV series format and Studio Ghibli was only co-producing it. Anyway, the CG animation of Erwig and the Witch just works. I can imagine it as the 2D animation but for some reason it just works as a CG film. The models of the characters are in a way plain. Some of them are dead in the inside. <laughs> When two characters talk, the other character just freezes. It would have been nice if there would be expressions and not just freezing. Erwig and the Witch is highly detailed except for the characters. In this room, you can just see the tiny bits of details, from the many jars to the horrifying sticky muddy floor. It's just bits of the background that just works with the freezing characters. Look at everything behind her. Take a look at all of the books. Look at the grass. Even the food. The freaking food but in CG and it looks so good. The details in the CG film is just that good and the Studio Ghibli vibe still remains there. The only thing I didn't really like was just the character models because they are almost lifeless but when adding a touch of emotions, the character just works in the CG format. From the character's movement, personalities, the details with the backgrounds, the details with the clothing, and even the house itself just makes Erwig and the Witch watchable and entertaining. The only time this became a 2D was in the credits, showing you on what it could have been. This was a really nice addition and it fills you in with the blanks when you finished watching the film. Also, this part here where she gets to eat the shepherd's pie, Studio Ghibli should have made Aya cry and have a Ratatouille reference. Just saying. The characters are actually enjoyable and likable. We have our protagonist Aya and it just shows that her personality is this rebel type as you can see from her hair. Is she from is she the soul from the movie Soul? I'm a manipulative megalomaniac who's intensely opportunistic. Bella Yaga, who reminds you of Yubaba, I think she might be the one who carries the film and Mandrake just gives the complete personality of the film. 
if Mandrake wasn't in the film, and it would only be Bella Yaga and Aya, it will be incomplete. Erwig and the Witch is just like a puzzle where you have to piece together the parts to make this film to be a good return for Studio Ghibli and to make it entertaining. Alright, there's also Thomas the Cat and well, he is just... For me, he is forgettable and hasn't really made anything memorable for the film. He isn't like Gigi, but he does provide the film with some mystery to it. Makes you question on how did the three of them come together in this one house. The music of Erwig and the Witch is a banger, especially the song Don't Disturb Me. Go give the song a listen because it's a banger. In the interview of Goro Miyazaki, who is the director of Erwig and the Witch and also the son of Hayao Miyazaki, when asked if it was a challenge for Ghibli animators to be in the CG technology and style, he answers, So the team this time, we work with different studios that already have experience with 3D CG, whether it's the animation process or the composite or modeling. We have been supporters, but the core team members were all freelancers who we've worked with before. So the only staff member here at Studio Ghibli who was involved with Erwig was the head of digital imaging and two people from post-production. The rest of the people at Studio Ghibli were very busy working on Hayao Miyazaki's new film. Studio Ghibli fans should just give Erwig and the Witch being a CG film a chance. And also, there are no news regarding with a sequel to Erwig and the Witch or anything related with a Studio Ghibli film becoming another CG. So just chill. But I would like it if Erwig and the Witch gets a TV series format and it's just Aya doing witch-related stuff and hanging out with Mandrik and Bela Yaga. And yes, even Thomas. Now, was this a good CG movie? A hundred percent yes. Was this a good Studio Ghibli film? I would say it has its good moments and it just entertains you with its CG goodness. People may hate on it, but I hope many will give it a chance because it's the return of Studio Ghibli. Don't judge a CG film for its CGness. But if the CG film is just trash quality, then just don't watch it. Will we get more CG films from Studio Ghibli? We don't really know if there will be more, but I hope so. They will have more time with polishing the models and giving it more personality. The animation will be more detailed and it will become a great Studio Ghibli CG film. If there will be another CG film, I just hope the Studio Ghibli will have a comeback for real in the hand-drawn animation. All we can do is just wait for the upcoming How Do You Live. For now, just give Erwig and the Witch a chance. I give Erwig and the Witch 6 Shepherd Pies out of 10, a not perfect CG film that miraculously entertained me. It deserves that many Shepherd Pies. But I still would have liked it if it was 2D, but hey, it is what it is.